You think you... As your favourite artist ever tweeted at the police to kill themselves? Well, that's JPEG Mafia for you. If you had to sum up his personality in two words, not caring. With a discography of songs that include I just killed a cop, now I'm horny. Jesus forgive me, I'm a fart and I cannot fucking wait until Morrissey dies. You'd assume that Peggy takes the same lax attitude to the song's content. But that's the interesting part. The songs go hard as fuck. Mm. How the fuck you this way now? You switched up and I don't believe it. One hand in the anthem like the Kembe when I block the demons. You listen to one Peggy album and it can go from him saying he doesn't care that Neo Gaff is dead. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. To the hardest song you'll possibly listen to in your entire life. Peggy, where you been at? Getting all this promo. When it comes to money, bet these niggas is a no show. Peggy's range is incredible. Most popular artists like Drake catch a lot of flack when they try to switch up their sound. Are you fucking me? Bed creaking Drake, what? Peggy does it song to song. Peggy's earlier music, under the Devin Hendrix name, is completely different to how it is now. It's indescribable. Believe me, I've tried to write this paragraph nine times over, and I can't even begin to describe it. Peggy also isn't afraid to just speak his political opinions on tracks, and that's someone that I can respect. He speaks his mind and has no fear of doing so. I'll go speak my mind now. Album to album, I genuinely think Peggy has never missed. Not even on his most controversial songs. I Just Killed a Cop Now I'm Horny is, firstly, a hell of a title for a song, and secondly, pretty dark. Sampling the death of a cop is pretty weird, but I myself think Peggy just wanted the song to be striking, which it achieved. A lot of people are disturbed by this song, rightfully so, but for me, anyway, that's the point, and who the hell else but Peggy? I don't even know what that means. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. My first introduction to Peggy was 1539 and Calvin, and what an opening bar. I need all my bitches same color as Drake. Peggy is one hell of an artist. Album to album, track to track, you never really know what's up next. And that's why personally I love him. His approach to sampling random ass memes or obscure video games and then pulling them off is legendary. Who the hell? can sample Soldier Boy winning at Fortnite and make it sound good. Seriously, the amount of random ass stuff Peggy throws in to create absolutely banging tracks should be studied in the history books. I don't think there is quite an artist like JPEG Mafia. He is truly one of a kind. And you better not fucking compare him to MC Ride, I swear to God. There's a new millennium on the way and you've got a decision to make. You gonna be like everyone else or are you gonna forge your own path? Be your own person and individual. Being yourself isn't always easy. Sometimes you gotta take some licks. But in the long run, it's the only thing that makes you who you are. Don't ever give it up. I'm out of here.